We just finished unloading here in Calgary, Alberta. Now we're putting the hammer down to British Columbia. We get to see some beautiful sceneries Turn again. Left on Marlon Trail. I know some of you uh, have commented on the last one when I went to British Columbia, so I know most of you guys like the scenery, so we'll, uh, we'll get some more video of those beautiful mountains. Probably have more snow on them this time than last time when I went through there, but yeah, I finished having some nice breakfast up here and I actually went and dropped the trailer up there in uh, Calgary here and at the customer and it's going to be a little while anyway, so it's just down the road to uh, at the Husky there, so we just went down the road and had breakfast done. Yeah, we're all good to go now. Yep. But, uh, yeah, up there on that uh, Coquihalla where I'm going to go through today is uh, where they actually filmed that uh, Highway Through Hell. It's uh, beautiful sceneries, but it gets dangerous in wintertime, I tell you. It's a dangerous place to go when it's winter, but hey, so far it should be okay. I think it's uh, too warm yet to uh, get too icy yet, so... But I have my chains with me, my tire chains. I should be all good to go, eh? Oh, look at that, he's got about five dogs in this little vehicle there. <laughs> oh, man, all right. We'll get going here. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, we'll give you a sneak peek of the big mountains. Looks beautiful. I yeah, don't have too much snow up there in the mountains yet, but we got a little bit. Alrighty, just finished doing a brake check up here. First brake check into BC. Got a little bit of a lake here or whatever. And uh, as you can see, the ground is starting to turn white. All right, nothing we can do. But, hey, at least we're continue on rolling. It's been a good day so far. Yeah, it's snowing slightly, but not too bad. It doesn't seem to be too slippery yet. I think the ground is still too warm. But we'll continue on our journey here and we're gonna go downhill here for quite a while. That's why we had to do the brake check up there. All right, we're just coming down the uh, so-called 10 mile hill. Supposedly it goes down for 10 miles, so I had to do a brake check up there. And it's a pretty steep downhill up here. As you can see, they cut down the, the big uh, mountains up here to make it easier. They got a runaway lane up here in a thousand meters. So well, that uh, just goes to show you this is a dangerous stretch of highway. I think this highway was, uh, or this stretch here was built later. We used to go down at the bottom over there. Under the left you can probably not see it, but we used to go on the bottom there, but they built this up here. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be better. But as you will see here in a minute, they cut through right through the center of a mountain up here build a highway so oh, I guess this trucker thinks he's a super trucker he can go fast yeah yeah right just right here to the right you'll see a, a runaway lane that means if you lose control of your truck you can go up there and well I guess you ain't gonna go straight up the mountain for very long so they got gravel in there so that way it will slow your truck down I've heard a long time ago say, people saying that if you go into a runaway lane uh, it's hard not to jackknife because it slows you down so quickly because the trailer will keep pushing you especially if you have a heavy load but uh, yeah look at that here to the left you'll see a big drop off and it's just going to continue going down for a while so just take a look at the beautiful scenery we got up here I love it it's beautiful to see but I would hate to go down here in the uh, winter time when it's all covered in snow. This is 10 kilometers before uh, Golden BC. And this is where we got a really zigzagging stretch of highway where it's literally we're driving on the edge of the mountain. I mean, you can see real sharp corners, real dangerous. You wouldn't want to come around these corners too 
because rocks flying down the mountain sometimes, you know, real dangerous. Hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. All the big uh, mountains and big drop-offs that we got. I hope you guys enjoy riding along with me on this trip here. Get to see some beautiful sceneries. Some places you wouldn't want to be in winter, but hey, we still have to drive here as truckers. We still need to get the freight to uh, Vancouver. So that's what we have to do. You can see big cutouts right here at the mountain. And to the left is probably a thousand meters drop off, you know. Yeah, just another real sharp bend up here. Here we are going across this narrow bridge again that I showed you a while back ago and it's raining. Of course it's raining. But it's, uh, I think it's a little bit better visible than it was last time. Alrighty, we are done for today. We are in Merritt, British Columbia. Short, it stands for BC. We just finished uh, dinner up here and we had ourselves a nice shower and so we're calling it a day so all that's left to do is edit up these videos and we'll go to bed so we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m. so thanks for watching mm -hmm.